Hello there, this is Dong Wen. And today I'm going to talk about what we can do with this uh, belt conveyor trajectory designer, which is a uh, inventor app. I will introduce it uh, with some sample runs. The samples will be including inclined belt uh, cases for fast belt, middle speed, middle, middle speed uh, belt, and slow belt. All this will be half trap at transition lift. And also a compression will be done for the fast belt um, full trap at transition case. By doing that, uh, you will be able to see the impact to the fire angle by the belt lift. Also, a another set of uh, samples will be about the declined belt. Also will be about uh, fast belt, uh, mid middle speed belt, and slow belt. Mm, all these uh, samples will be based on half trap at transition because uh, that's the uh, most uh, frequently used uh, belt cases. Also, I will mention about some of the features about this program. For example, I have provided a warning system showing the overflow conditions and also the coloring scheme of the trajectories in relation to belt speed. Okay, now let's start with the uh, inventor. So now we have this uh, inventor open and showing the prototype and belt conveyor trajectory 3D model. If you don't have this iNode uh, browser open, you can go to the manage tab, manage menu, and then click on the iNode browser. It will sh show you this uh, iNode tools. In the iNode browser, right click on this trajectory designer, which will bring up your the my interface. Okay, so let's start with the incline belt. Cases and um, let's change that to be inclined belt, say nine degrees, and um, we want to start with the uh, fast speed. Uh, case. But now for now, you can see that uh, fast speed is grayed out. So that's because the uh, design criteria is selected to calculate um, the belt speed. So if we want to specify belt speed, we can use this uh, option number two. So now you can see that this is changed to be blue allow and allowing us to make change, say we want. In order to have a fast speed, we can specify a number, a speed higher than this value, which is the high critical bell speed. So we change that to be 500, or maybe make it more significant and say 600. Uh, for this uh, same um, load capacity percentage, let's apply, and then you can see that uh, the trajectory now is in red, which uh, corresponds to fast speed. So that's as simple as that for this um, inclined belt um, half trap and the fast speed condition. So let's change that to be a middle, sp middle sp speed uh, belt. So for middle speed uh, belt, we need to specify a number between these two values. We say 400 and this three. OK, now let's apply. So you can see that um, something happened inside of the model. Um, that's um, data communication and the calculations happening uh, behind the behind the scene. So you can see that um, the result is you can see the result right away on the fly. Also one thing I would like to mention is the the that you can when you specify the head and the slope which is correspond to this line, the dashed line is a belt slope, but there is a fine angle which is actually the lamb the angle of that the actual belt line. Let's if we say that the belt in line walk, walk line and then this is the actual belt line. So you can see that uh, when we have this half trap there is a difference between these two values which for this uh, for this 
example, is about 2.57 different. That means when we don't consider that um, difference, then the different that might be have ha that will have significant impact to the result. Okay, so now let's do the slow speed condition. Slow speed. We when we want to specify the slow speed, we specify a lambda below this. Below this, so it's three hundred. Okay. Well, we can, we cannot change uh, this number because it doesn't. Uh, we can, but it won't. Um, they can. It won't change the result. So it doesn't. Ha it doesn't help. So when we w we want to change this number, three hundred, because those uh, burst, uh, critical burst speed is um, low or high. Is resulting number. So when we specify the Bertrand um, speed to be 300, when we click on the apply, and then you can see that this number will come back to what it's supposed to be. And then the belt speed, you can, as you can see, that when it's low, low speed belt, then the belt, after the tangent point, the material will roll around the pulley for a certain angle. Mm, and then start to throw out at this angle, which is correspond to the gamma. For further information of the gamma definition, you can refer to um, sigma. Yeah. So now we can see what is the impact of the trough and full trough case. For the same case, now let's make it a fast build case. Six hundred again, and then full trough, the same slope. And then apply. So you can see that the trajectory changed from previous blue to this red. So the blue refers to the slow belt, and then the red in indicates a fast speed belt. So now, if we want to see what, uh, now we want to show some samples about the decline belt. Let's say minus six. We want to talk about the half case because uh, that's typ more typical. So decline build, half drop, and then fast build. Of course, you can change all those other parameters as well in those uh, blue box. So see what happens. So now you can see that it's decline, and then it shows the work line of the um, belt and then the exit belt line. And then because for this fast uh, belt is uh, in red. So now we change that to be a middle speed, mid, middle speed belt, which uh, is a number between these two, let's say 4 or 4. Let's double click on run, apply. So you can see the fact for this case, the, um, there is a slightly difference between the slightly different change of the critical speed. So that means that uh, the 4 of 4 was some middle speed um, condition based on pre previous parameters, but uh, not for the current case. So we have to re change that again to see what see what happens. Uh, 4 or 5. So as you can see, now it's actual middle speed belt. And then, but you can see the difference between the incline and the decline belt. Now we don't have that um, orange color segment. That's because for a decline belt, um, the middle speed, uh, the middle speed uh, belt condition is quite similar to the fast speed condition. So it only shows the fast um, speed uh, trajectory, and the, the material start to throw out at the tangent point. So that's the case of the middle speed uh, condition. So we want to change that to be no speed, 300 or whatever, and then we can apply. So you can see that it's similar to the incline belt, and then after the tangent point, the material will roll around the belt and the pulley, and then start to throw at the gamma point, gamma angle. So it doesn't make as as you can see from the change of the belt speed from fast to middle speed and to slow speed. You can see that. Uh, Trajectory change from high to much lower. You see the trajectory drop down from significantly when the belt speed uh, slow down. So that's 
is what that is uh, what we expect. Mm, also, I would like to mention about um, the features like this program can provide some warning when there is overflow happen. Say for this case, if we want we want to change that um, design criteria to be number three. It's based on the input of Q, which is capacity and V speed, to find out uh, what is the load percentage. So the period, the current uh, model is okay uh, um, because we didn't change any parameters. So it, when we click apply again, it doesn't make any change. But if we want to um, design that to run to load more. You can see if we change that to be 6,000 something and then apply, you can see that um, for the same belt, the same load, um, percentage, then here is that it's up, H distance is less than zero. Speed, speed it may occur, and then we need to change the, some of the parameters. So we can either change um, no longer the capacity, or we can change use a wider belt. And also, there is an indication over here, and the text is in red, which means that. Um, is not good. So this is uh, some sample um, warning for you to promoting the user to change the settings, change the parameters. Yeah. So that's uh, the basic use of this uh, program. Hope you like it. And if you have any question, please feedback to get back to me. Thank you for watching.